Aiden Hilberry was the boy of my dreams. He was the most handsome guy in our high school and I was absolutely crazy about him. It's kind of embarrassing, but I would pull all sorts of tricks in order to get his attention. I would wake up way early in the morning and spend hours choosing the dress to wear for my day to look at my best. I joined the cheer team to get popular, and I would always talk or laugh abnormally loud with my friends when he was around, all just to get his attention. But before we move on, like this video, hit that subscribe button and activate the notification bell and you will become the most popular person in your school. Trust me, it works. However, the most daring thing I did out of all has to be sneaking out of my house multiple times to go to parties that Aiden was going to be at. Unfortunately, despite all of my efforts, he never noticed me. Trust me, even if I climbed a mountain for him, he would look the other way. He was just too proud, I guess. Still, he was the only one I liked. But I was not the only one in the school on a run to get Aiden's attention. He was the most handsome guy after all, so there were many other competitors from seniors to juniors. There was one girl especially, Brittany, who was in the same class as me. She pretended to be sweet with me and called me, hey pretty, whenever we met, or something cheesy pretending to be my friend, but in fact, she was my greatest rival. I felt more competitive with her especially because she was really beautiful. She had won every pageant held in our school that she participated in. He didn't give her any attention either, so we were in a state of competition. One day, one of my close friends came running to me, all out of breath. I've got big news for you, she said giving me a smirk with a wink. I immediately understood the news was about Aiden. Tell me everything already, I asked her, restless. He was just appointed the president of the student publishing, she said, and the word is, he's looking to take writers for his team, she added. After hearing all that, my eyes lit up. If I got into his team, I would have all his attention. I screamed and jumped with joy. My friend further added that there was a criterion. The student who was applying to be on the team should have a blog, and the one with the most readers or views was going to win a place on his team. I have to win that place, I thought, and I called a few of my most trusted friends over for an emergency meeting. Girls, this is my one chance to get noticed by Aiden. I have to do everything I possibly can, I told them, and asked them to put out all the ideas on the table if they had any. While school drama and family drama are the current trending topics, you should go with those, one of my friends said. But Brittany has already started her blog on school drama, the other added. Of course, my rival was something I had to deal with too. I couldn't take the risk of divided readers, so I had to pick family drama as my theme for the blog. Now, this was a huge challenge for me. You see, my family was pretty normal. In fact, it was boring. My father was a regular guy working for the government. I didn't know any details about his job, though. And my mom made handcraft items at home and sold them to gift shops. There was nothing dramatic going on in our lives. That meant I had to come up with something fictional. I have to make up something, I told my friends. But at that time, none of them mentioned that people tend to read more stories that are based on true events, and all my other friends agreed. After hearing what everyone had to say, I came up with an amazing idea. I immediately took my leave from there and rushed home. When I finally reached home, I threw all my stuff on the floor, took my laptop, and started working on my blog. I started typing and making up an interesting, juicy family drama story as fake as it could possibly be. In the story, the role of my father was the same as the one in real life. He was a regular person who worked for the government. Now for the drama part. I made my mother a spy. I've seen my mom steal important government information from dad's computer multiple times, I wrote, imagining how fun it would be to read. I also made the mother in the story very meaningful cruel when in reality she was a very sweet person. At that moment, I felt like I was creating a masterpiece and was very excited about the results. After writing up an amazing made-up story, I made sure to write a note of based on true events at the end to get more traffic on my blog. Girls gotta do what a girl's gotta do, people. Then I left the blog to be read by people. And you wouldn't believe the number of readers and views on my blog. It was growing by thousands every day. And obviously, I deserved it for all the brain I put in it. In just a few days, my blog had the most views among all students. I could tell every girl in school was so jealous of me, especially Brittany. I could just tell by the look on her face that she was super jealous and angry because she lost to me. I was more than happy because I was finally going to be noticed by Aiden. For that, my girlfriends had helped me a lot, so I was thinking about throwing a party for them, but suddenly something happened that took all my happiness away in seconds.
The next day, as I was getting ready, we got a knock on our front door. I'll get it, mom, I called and went on and opened the door to find two policemen at our door. I called my mom over, telling her there were two policemen. My mom came rushing, but just as they saw her, they immediately arrested and took her to the station. I had no idea what was going on, and my dad was out of town, so I followed the police car to the station. Why are you arresting her? She has done nothing, I said to the police after reaching the station. But after hearing what the charges were, I was shocked and couldn't stand on my feet. We arrested her for espionage and abusing you. We know everything. She'll probably go to jail for life, one of the policemen said. That made me think of the blog I had written just a few days back. But that was just a made-up bunch of words. You can't arrest her based on the blog. You don't have any proof, I told them. However, inside, I was feeling stupid and guilty. Oh, we have a witness. They answered, and I went speechless. Constantly, I was also thinking about who the witness must be. And honestly, I could have never guessed. It was Brittany. Apparently, she was so jealous of me that she stooped so low to make trouble for me. She pretended to be my friend and gave a statement to the police about my mom. She told them that while at my house, she had seen my mother acting suspiciously and treating me badly on various occasions. Of course, all of it was a big fat lie, but at that time, I didn't have any proof that she had not been to my house, or the fact that she was not my friend at all. I felt so helpless at that moment, and without my dad there, I had no idea how to save my mom. I just went home, sat on the floor, and started crying like a baby because my stupidity had sent my mom to jail for life. Right then, my phone started buzzing, so I quickly wiped my tears to see who it was. It was a number I did not recognize. I had to pick up the phone to know the caller, and when I did, I couldn't believe who it was. It was Aiden. Aiden called me, I thought, but it was bad timing because I was too sad to be happy about it, and he immediately figured that out. Is something wrong? You seem like you've been crying, he asked. Without thinking anything, I told him everything. I accidentally sent my mom to jail for life, I said, and started crying again. I also told him about Brittany and how she had done me dirty. Okay, stop crying and listen to me. I can help you, he said, and I felt so happy and finally a little relieved. But there's a condition. You have to do something, I ask at the end, he added. Sure, whatever you say, I told him. At that time, I didn't think much of the condition he had talked about. I took it lightly and thought maybe he was talking about asking to go on a date or ask for a kiss or something silly like that. At the time, I couldn't care less. I just wanted my mom back. We got onto planning to get my mom out of jail. For that, the best option was making Brittany confess her lies, so our plan was to confront Brittany and record everything. For that, without wasting any time, I headed to school. I turned on the recording option on my phone and went on looking for her. One of my friends told me that she had gone to the restroom, so I made my way there, and there she was, my biggest enemy. I cornered her and questioned her. How could you lie to the police about my mom? Why did you do it? I asked. Honestly, I haven't thought it would be so easy, but she started blabbering out stuff without even thinking I might be gathering evidence. Stupid. She started speaking lengths about her plan and how much she hated me. She told me that she wanted to date Aiden and she wanted me out of the picture. That was why she had made such a plan to lie to the police and bring trouble for me. She just went on speaking and speaking and wouldn't stop, but I had heard enough and the recording was also enough to prove her lies. Hence, without wasting any time Time further, I rushed to go to the police station. I was happy that I could finally get my mom out of the mess made by my stupid blog. After reaching the station, I gave the police the recording I had just obtained. As they listened to it carefully, their face went red. They immediately released my mom and fell on their knees to beg for forgiveness. Ma'am, please forgive us. We made a huge mistake, one of them said. We'll pay you any amount necessary to pay for the damage we caused, the other added. However, I told them that before anything, they must punish the girl who provided them with the wrong information, which led to all that. They assured me that they would get to it instantly and see it done. After that, they escorted me and my mom to our home. My mom was very tired, so she directly went to her room to rest, and I did the same. After reaching my room, I called Aiden and told him everything that happened in the school and at the police station. I also thanked him for his help. But do you remember your promise? He asked me after hearing everything. I got excited and a little shy and flirtedly told him to ask whatever he wanted. But what he asked me was something I would have never expected in a million years. And honestly, it shocked me to my core. You see... 
I am actually a spy. Now, I want you to go to your father's computer and steal all the government secrets for me. That's your payment for my help, he said, and I figured he was serious. I just went speechless, thinking the guy I had liked all this time was a spy while he cut the call. What do you think I should do? Should I do as he asks and steal information, or should I tell the police everything? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and check out other videos on the channel.